Hey, welcome back to Aaron Reacts. And here we're going to be doing Angelina Jordan with a private performance for Quincy Jones. Now, for his 85th birthday, there was an anniversary concert where Angelina was invited to sing. And I've got a reaction to that just blew my mind. I mean, I was in tears. It was so emotional. Um, just one of the most fantastic things I've ever heard, realistically. Right. And so I learned during that time that she got invited backstage to do a private performance with, with Quincy Jones. And I believe that's what we're reacting to here. Now I have a membership site on aarunreacts.com. You can check out details in the description here. Um, and I got, you know, one of the benefits is to be able to make requests on that. And I got two requests to this, um, that is Angelina Jordan sings for Quincy Jones and private meeting with Quincy Jones. And um, in this particular case, um, I have chosen PA1189J's uh, channel based on the link they provided me um, for this performance. Now, it says Sings Jazz for Quincy Jones, London 2018. Now, sorry, I don't recognize that username. I imagine you're here. Thank you for what you do. I also have a note from that that says Angelina Jordan sang Jazz for Quincy Jones at the O2 Arena in London in 2018 to celebrate his 85th birthday. The sound on this clip has been denoised and filtered to improve the clarity. And so uh, I imagine just like she did in the other performances, she's singing Fly Me to the Moon and allowing him to hear it privately. Um, and so, yeah, let's get to it. But by the way, before we jump in, I mean, what a freaking honor. I mean, Quincy Jones is like the legend of all legends. I mean, he has like 7,000 Grammys. Obviously, I'm exaggerating, but I think it's like 50 or something like that. I mean, it's absurd. I think he might even have the most Grammys of all time. Um, so it's just ridiculous what kind of legend he is. And to at the age of 12, to get invited for a private performance, I mean, come on. So no matter what, this is already just ridiculous, but let's get to it. No. What? Guys. Oh my gosh. You have no idea. How crazy is this? Yesterday. Just yesterday. Over the weekend for me. I was literally going through and I said to myself, because I had a little bit of time, my headphones in, and I and I was like listening to um, Sarah Vaughn and Ella Fitzgerald and thinking about some of the influences of Angelina. And I listened to Ella Fitzgerald and to a few songs of her and this very same version, the same version of Ella Fitzgerald with Cal Basie I was listening to just yesterday. And I probably haven't heard it in like a year. Oh my gosh, what are the odds of that? Now I got to pause it real quick because I just want to confirm that that's the right, right one I heard and everything. Just a second. Okay, yeah, so not only is it the same version I was listening to yesterday, but I did a little bit of research and it turns out that Quincy Jones himself arranged that same version with Ella Fitzgerald with the Count Basie Orchestra. So here she is paying complete homage and tribute to Quincy Jones, doing the exact version that he arranged. Unbelievable. God, this girl is just brilliant in so many freaking ways. All right, let's go back to the beginning because now I gotta actively listen because I didn't do that. Here we go. It's totally that version. Oh. Kiss 
Wait, what did he say? You are something? I still didn't get it. You are something. I, I'm not getting that. Like insane artist or something? I'm not sure. Um, but send me a picture. Um, my gosh. And look at look at the look on his face there. He's genuinely staring at her. And you saw his reaction. Like, he is generally dumb, genuinely dumbfounded by her performance. And who wouldn't be? Here's this 12-year-old girl. Um, you know, I'm not going to compare her to Ella. But, you know, she did some things that I feel like Ella didn't even do in her version. Um, clearly, she's inspired and influenced by Ella in a big way. Um, but she even made it her own. It just sounded beautiful, absolutely beautiful, stunning, flawless. So let's listen to that one more time because it was just that good. Uh, and, and in particular, I'm going to pay, I'm sure many of you have seen this multiple times, but I'm going to pay particular attention to his body language and his response. And especially love when she took it up, which I believe Ella does, I think so, maybe even the same way, although I, I think there might be some minor differences. It was just yesterday I heard this, but I don't remember all the specifics, to be honest. But I think it's very similar to how Ella did. Um, but, you know. Quincy may not remember that specifically, right? Either way, he said, yeah, girl, um, right? Because, I mean, just sounds incredible. Mm. Mm. And I was, I didn't notice before, but look how he, he, he not only embraces her and just how cute is she to, you know, idolize him and have that ability to perform for him privately and just completely like, this is such a special moment for her. Right. And she just, you know, embraces him just to show that respect. And not only does he genuinely reciprocate, but he grabs her arm for her to feel him. Like, I see you. I hear you. Right there. What a special. So I thought that was a replay at the end. But I didn't actually see that arm embrace that I saw the first time. So is she actually hug him twice? So good. So cool was. And you can see Mary in the mirror, I believe. Yeah, that's different. That's different. So she did embrace him twice. Wow, how how special um amazing amazing i mean what a moment what a moment she'll remember that forever there's no doubt
It's these kind of moments that make all the difference for an aspiring artist and just person. Amazing. Um, this was such a privilege, really. Um, okay, well, I'm going to leave it at that. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and do so now. And, uh, you know, if you're an angel, you want to see more early reactions, have the ability to request special things. And, you know, we're building up a community and these types of things. Um, check out uh, the link in the description for that. Regardless, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.